at that plane. If you want to lie to yourself and fool yourself, then you can do that then. No problem. But I'm going, I'm trying to get salvation. I'm going with Amen. the book. Amen. Yes. Second John the ninth verse. Second John nine. Go ahead and read. Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ. Now you see what they doing when they not abiding in the doctrine. They transgressing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, well, well, why you, you can do it your way? I can do it my way. No, I ain't doing it my way. And you can't do it your way and call yourself serving God. Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ. Go ahead. Have not God. And you don't have God. It is written. You can't do it your way and I do it my way. You got to buy to the doctor of Christ, don't you? That's it, brother. That's what the book says. Amen. Go ahead. He that abideth in the doctrine of Christ, he have both the Father and the Son. Go ahead. And if there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, uh -huh. receive him not into your house, <laughs> neither bid him God speed. <laughs> you see that? He don't come with this doctrine. Because like they come with the doctrine of the Trinity, he, they don't receive them into your house. Don't even be them, bid them God's speed. You know what I mean? God be with you. No. See you later. That's about all you're going to get from me. But go ahead, verse 11. For he that bid of him God's speed is partakers of his evil deeds. That's why I wouldn't bid him God's speed. Because I'll be a partaker of his evil deeds. Yes, sir. So this is the doctrine that we abide in the doctrine of Christ, right? Mm -hmm. And we we see that there's no such doctrine in the new in the Old Testament or the New Testament called a Trinity doctrine, do we? That is true. Better beware of what you worshiping. Let's go to John the fourteenth chapter. Now let's bring the Holy Ghost on the scene. Let's bring him back on the scene. John fourteen. John fourteen, and we're gonna pick up at verse fifteen. We're going to bring the Holy Ghost back on the scene. Now we're going to show you, we already show you what he is. He is an angel, right? Now we're going to show you who it is. And we're going to give you his name. John 14, and we're going to pick it up at verse, uh, pick it up at verse 15. We always like to start right here. John 14 and 15. Everybody got it? Amen. Go ahead and read. If ye love me, keep my commandments. <laughs> we always like to stop right there. Yes, sir. <laughs> if you love me, keep my commandments. Go ahead and read. And I will pray the Father, uh -huh. and he shall give you another comforter. And he shall give you another comforter. Go ahead. That he may abide with you forever. Uh-huh. Even the spirit of truth. Even the spirit of truth. So this comforter is what? The spirit yeah. of truth. truth. Yes, sir. But you see what he called this comforter? That he may abide with you forever. He called this comforter he did. Mm -hmm. Then he called him the spirit of truth. But what are spirits? Angels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we already showed you he ain't God. So he got to be a spirit. Then he got to be an angel, right? Mm -hmm. He ain't one of us. <laughs> He's not flesh and blood. Even the spirit of truth. Go ahead. Whom the world cannot receive. Uh-huh. Because it see of him not. Because it see of him not. We're dealing with an entity, a being right here, right? Because mm -hmm. your brother said, well, you know, every time you see Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit, that's talking about the same. No, Holy Ghost and Spirit, Holy Ghost and Holy Spirit come in many different forms. And you got to put them in its proper context. You got to put them in the proper context. Now, we're dealing with a being right here. Jesus said, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. That ain't no being, is it? Come on. But we know spirit, ghost, angel, same thing, right? Yes, spirit, ghost, same thing. So he said, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it's seeing him not. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Neither know of him. Uh-huh. But ye know him, for he dwelleth with you. And shall be in you. Now let's let's just call the remember your to let's bring something to your remember uh to your memory. Uh skip down to verse 26. Go ahead. 26. Uh-huh. But the comforter. Uh-huh. Which is the Holy Ghost. Now the comforter, which is he still spirit of truth, ain't he? Yes, sir. But now he called him uh, the Holy Ghost. He got, these are titles, aren't they? Is this a name? 
This ain't no name, is it? On, These are all titles. Yes, sir. Because remember, he said he's going to come in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Ghost. And we saw earlier that the Holy Ghost coming in the, in, in the name of Jesus, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Read that over, verse 26. But the Comforter, uh -huh. which is the Holy Ghost, uh -huh. whom the Father will send in my name. See, he said, whom the Father will send in my name. Is his name Jesus? The Comforter's come name on. ain't Jesus. Come on. The Holy Ghost's name ain't Jesus. Go ahead and read. He shall teach you all things. Uh huh. And bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I shall, whatsoever, whatsoever I have said unto you. He gonna re bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I have said unto you. Now, let's look at him again. Let's go to John the 16th chapter. John 16, and we're gonna pick it up at verse 13. John 16 and verse 13. I mean, the book breaks them down, don't it? Mm -hmm. And then you don't have to take nothing from them, but you ain't giving them, you don't take nothing from them, but you ain't giving them Godhood. Come on. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. The book breaks it down. It, it's especially the Lord, he really breaks them down, don't it? It is written. Verse 13, uh, John 16, 13. Go ahead and read it. How be it when he... Uh, well, <laughs> he still called him a he. Mm -hmm. Who he talking about? Go ahead. The Spirit of Truth. Which is the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, right? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Is come. Uh -huh. He will guide you into all truth. He going to guide you into what? All truth. All truth. He's not going to tell me one thing, tell Brother Caleb something else, tell that, tell Brother Jeff something else. Come on. He going to lead you, guide you into all truth. Yes, so whatever he tell me, when he tell the truth, he going to tell me the same thing he tell you, the same thing he tell you. Truth all of us going to hear the same thing. That's it, brother. So why we got so many different stories then? One truth. <laughs> and he said he's going to lead and guide you into all truth. That truth don't have no S on it, does it? Come on. <laughs> so, <laughs> read that again, brother. Yes, sir. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, uh -huh. he will guide you into all truth. Uh -huh. For he shall not speak of himself. Go ahead. But whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. Whatsoever he hear. That's what he's going to speak. Go ahead and read. And he will show you things to come. Uh-oh. He's going to show you things to come. Now, you know, so we're looking at the Holy Ghost right here, aren't we? You know, he's going to lead and guide you in all truth. He's not going to speak of himself. Uh, and he's going to uh, uh, show you things to come. Now, let's deal with him for a minute. Let's do, first, let's go to 2 Peter, the first chapter, and show you that he did exist in the Old Testament. 14. Yeah, go ahead and read verse 14. Go ahead and read. He shall glorify me. Uh-huh. For he shall receive of mine. Uh-huh. And shall show it unto you. Now, you see who we're going to glorify? The, the, the Lord, right? Yes, sir. Let's go to 2 Peter, the first chapter. 2 Peter 1. 2 Peter 1. And we're gonna pick up, pick it up at verse, uh, pick it up at verse 16. 2 Peter 1 and 16. Everybody got it? 2 Peter 1 and 16. Go ahead. For we have not followed cunningly defy, do, excuse me, for we have not followed cunningly devise fable. And that, we not follow because if you believe in the Trinity, that's what you believe in, in a fable. Because mm -hmm. some man gave you that, right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. so, we, so we don't follow a cunning devised fable. Not here, Israel's Church of the Living God. Okay. Not churches like ours. Come on, brother. Go ahead and read. When we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. But were eyewitnesses of his majesty. There goes Jehovah's Witnesses again. <laughs> Come on. He said we were uh, witnesses of his majesty. Go ahead. 17. Uh-huh. For he received from God the Father honor and glory. Uh-huh. When there came such a voice to him from the excellent from the excellent glory. Go ahead. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Uh-huh. And this voice which came from heaven we heard when we were with him in the holy mount. We have also a more sure word of prophecy. See, that's why, you know, you can't be no New Testament Christian. <laughs> you see what Peter said? We also have a more sure word of what? Prophecy. Well, prophecy, that's the Old Testament. 
Mm. You know, the brother, we don't read our, see, you always going back to that Old Testament. Say, well, if you don't understand what I'm telling you, the New Testament, let's go back to the Old Testament, because whatever's said in the New Testament has already been said in the Old Testament. And then Peter telling you right here, you have a more sure word of prophecy. We have a more sure word of prophecy. Go ahead. Where until ye do well that ye take heed. Why come don't nobody read this? Why don't nobody read this? Got churches called New Testament Christians. Go ahead and read. As unto a light that shineth in a dark place. Uh huh. Until the day dawn and the day star rise in your hearts. Go ahead. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. <laughs> See, because, you know, God going to give you some understanding or he not. And then you ain't going to know everything in this Bible. Don't nobody know everything in this Bible. But one thing for sure, it is of no private interpretation. So it's only one truth. So we all supposed to be coming up with the same thing then, don't we? Amen, brother. You got, you got this guy, he over here, he a Baptist, which you can't find in the Bible. You got this guy over here, he apostolic, which you can't find in that church in the Bible. Right, I get playing. You got all these different churches, and everybody got a different story. Come on. But Israel has always been a church, and Israel is still a church. That's it. Go ahead, read. 21. Uh huh. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. Uh huh. But holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Ooh, you see that? <laughs> he said, for prophecy, we're dealing with the Old Testament now, aren't we? Yes, for sir. prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by what? The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Spirit. Only thing different is, in, in the Old Testament, we call them Holy Spirit. In New Testament, we call them Holy Ghost. Now, let's go see how this Holy Ghost works. Because he said he's uh, 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 he, he not going to speak of himself. And he going to lead and guide you into all truth. And then he's going to show you things to come, right? That's it. Let's go to uh let's go to Zechariah the fourth chapter. Zechariah 4. And we're gonna pick it up at verse, pick it up at verse 1. Zechariah 4 and 1. Zechariah 4 and 1. Y'all got it? Go ahead. And the angel that talked with me came again. Uh-huh. And waited. Now you me. see what this, this angel talking to him now. You see this? Talking to Zachariah. Go ahead. And wake me. Uh-huh. As a man that is waking out of his sleep. Uh-huh. And said unto me, Uh-huh. What seest thou? And I said, I have looked, and behold, a candlestick, all of gold. Uh-huh. With a bowl upon the top of it, and his seven lamps thereon and seven pipes to the seven lamps which are upon the top thereof, and two olive trees by it, one upon the right side of the bowl, uh -huh. and the other upon the left side thereof. Go ahead. So I answered and spake to the angel uh -huh. that talked with me. Now he saying, said the angel that did what? Talk, talk with me. me. Go ahead. Saying, what are these, my lord? Uh, now he getting ready to tell him what this is. He getting ready to tell him the truth of this matter, isn't he? Yes, sir. The Holy Ghost is going to lead and guide you in all truth with me. That's it, brother. Go ahead and read. Then the angel that talked with me answered and said unto me, Uh huh. Know if thou not what this be? And I said, No, my Lord. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, Uh huh. This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, uh -huh. saying, Not by night, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord of hosts. Now, so this angel is telling him what he saw, right? Mm -hmm. He gave him, gave him, uh, uh, told him exactly what he was looking at, didn't he? But let's th let's go a little deeper with this. Let's go to Daniel the tenth chapter. Daniel ten, and we're gonna pick it up at verse two. Daniel ten and two. Cause we're looking for that Holy Ghost army. Daniel 10 and 2. We're looking for the one that's going to lead and guide you into all truth. And show you things to come. Daniel 10 and 2. Go ahead and read. 
In those days, I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks. Uh-huh. I ate no pleasant bread. Neither came flesh nor wine in my mouth. <laughs> he was fasting, wasn't he? Yes, sir. <laughs> That's a fast there. <laughs> Go ahead, read. Neither did I anoint myself at all. Uh huh. Till three whole weeks were fulfilled. Ooh, till three whole weeks were fulfilled. I don't know if I can last that long. <laughs> all the food we got around us, boy. He be passing uh, um, uh, all the rest of us and stuff for smelling that food. <laughs> Go ahead, read though. Yes, sir. Verse 4. Uh huh. And in the four and twentieth day of the first month, as I was by the side of the great river, which is in Hadakel, then I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of, of Euphus. Now he said, I looked up, he saw a certain man clothed in linen, didn't he? Whose loins were girded with fine gold of Euphus. Go ahead. His body also was like the the pearl, the uh -huh. pearl, the pearl, and his face as the appearance of lightning. Now he ain't looking at no ordinary man, then, is he? So if he ain't looking at a fleshly being, then what is he looking at then? A spiritual being. But what is a spirit? An angel. angel. <laughs> Y'all getting it? <laughs> Go ahead, Rico. You know, brother says spirits don't have no form and no hands and everything. What is this he looking at right here? This ain't no man. Go ahead and read. And his face has the appearance of lightning, and his eyes as the lamp of fire, and his uh -huh. arms and his feet like a color to polished brass. Go ahead. And the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude. Uh huh. And I, Daniel, alone saw the vision. For the men that were with me saw not the vision. Uh huh. But a great quaking fell upon them, so that they fled to hide themselves. <laughs> Lord, know how to get rid of somebody, don't he? <laughs> You ain't got to see what Daniel see. I'm going to send this earthquake and y'all going to run and Daniel going to be standing there alone. And he going to see this vision. Yes, sir. The Lord know how to do things perfectly, don't he? Indeed. Go ahead and read. Verse 8. Uh-huh. Therefore I was left alone and saw this great vision. Uh-huh. And there remained no strength in me. <laughs> you see, Daniel, he passed out. <laughs> you know, because people always talk about the Spirit just spoke to me and told me, I'm like, it did. Why can't nobody else hear him then? You know, see what you see what happened to Daniel. This is a vision that he was that he saw, and he passed out. He said, "I remained no strength in me." Go ahead. For my comeliness was turned in, in me in, into corruption, uh -huh. and I retained no strength. He just passed out. He see, he saw this angel. <laughs> you see this man? You know, I, I don't want to see no angel, so I'm gonna leave that alone. Keep reading. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Verse 9. Uh -huh. Yet heard I the voice of his words. Go ahead. And when I heard the voice of his words, then was I in a deep sleep on my face. <laughs> and my see, face toward the ground. You see that? He just hit the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that something? Yes, sir. Man, go ahead. And behold, a hand touched me. Uh-huh. Which said me. A hand touched you? You mean this uh, uh, spirit got uh, hands? <laughs> But the brother said, he got, spirits don't have hands and forms. and He just said, a hand touched me. So he got some type of substance, don't he? I don't want to find out, but we don't. <laughs> Go ahead and read. Yes, sir. And behold, a hand touched me, which set me upon my knees and upon the palms of my hand. Uh-huh. And he said unto me, O Daniel. A man greatly beloved. Go ahead. Understand the words that I speak unto thee. Now he's now he talking to Daniel, right? Yes, sir. He said, understand the words that I speak unto thee. Go ahead. And stand upright. Uh-huh. For unto thee am I now sent. Go and ahead. And when he had spoke, spoken these words unto me, I stood trembling. Now, <laughs> but, but the angel, we look at an angel right here, right? What is the definition of an angel? He is a messenger, ain't he? Yes, sir. What the Holy Ghost going to Holy Ghost, what is his job to do? Lead and guide you in all truth. And to show you things to come, right? That's it, bro. Read that verse 12. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel. Uh-huh. For from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand and to chest, chesten thyself before thy king, excuse me, before thy God, uh -huh. excuse me, thy words were heard. And I am come for thy words. Now he said, I am come for thy word. I'm coming to tell you what you want to know now, Daniel. But let's get a little bit deeper with this. Now I'm going to show you what his name is. Let's go to Daniel the 8th chapter. Bag up. 
Daniel 8. Because he's showing, he can ready to, he can get ready to tell Daniel what is uh, what the vision that he saw. What? That's right, brother. Daniel 8 and 15. Daniel 8 and 15. Daniel 8 and 15. Everybody got it? Amen. Now we're gonna now we're gonna see what his name is and everything. Because you know, all all these years you've been hearing about the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. Nobody ever gave you his name. Mm -hmm. no, nobody ever told you who it was. Well, you're going to hear him today. Daniel 8 and 15. Go ahead and read it. And it came to pass when I, when I even I, Daniel, had seen the vision uh -huh. and sought for the meaning. Now he sought for the meaning. Go ahead. Then behold, there stood before me as the appearance of a man. <laughs> he's looking at him again right here. Go ahead. And I heard a man's voice between the banks of Uli, uh -huh. which called and said, Go ahead. Gabriel, uh -huh. make this man to understand the vision. Ooh, you see that? Here's your Holy Ghost right here. He said, Gabriel, make this man to understand the vision. This is the Holy Ghost right here. Yes, sir. Gabriel, make this man, because what's the Holy Ghost going to do? He's going to lead and guide you into all truth, right? And he's going to show you things to come. So he's going to show Daniel this vision, though, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Ain't that what Gabriel is doing? Indeed. If, this, if it ain't, now, you know, I have been asking brothers, well, yeah, okay, well, you say Holy Ghost, what's his name then? Holy Ghost. I said, no, that's a title. Spirit of Truth. No, that's a title. Comforter. No, that's a title. What is his name? How is it that if he God, the Father got a name, right? Mm -hmm. The Son got a name. Why come the Holy Ghost don't have a name? Ever ask yourself that question? Why don't he have a name? Well, I'm telling you right now, this is his name right here. Gabe